Hi there, my name is Alana and you could say that I'm obsessed with high-end and luxury makeup and beauty. Today I'm so excited to be comparing the Natasha Denona Midi Bronze Palette with the Natasha Denona Mini Bronze Palette. Now when Natasha comes out with her mini palettes that are based on her midi or larger palettes, they're generally described as a shade extension. So in this video, in this video we're going to chat a little bit about in this video, I'm going to drop everything on the table in front of me on the ground and pray it doesn't break. So in this video, we are going to, of course, compare the two palettes. To do my eyeshadow, of course, I'm wearing the new mini palette today. But yesterday, in preparation for this video, I was testing out the midi palette. Just kind of refresh my memory, remind myself what I liked about it, <clears throat> what I didn't like about it and put it on my eyes. So we're going to include that so you can see how it looks. Then we're going to take a look at the swatches and I'm going to provide my recommendation on if you should buy this palette. And um, spoiler alert on this channel, we definitely get nuanced when it comes to makeup. And so it should not surprise you that the answer is going to be nuanced. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So here we have our swatches of the new mini palette. Starting here and moving this way, we have Russet, Flesh, Gobi, Bronze Foil, and Tough. Now the reason they are so far spaced apart is I want to see how do these look compared to the swatches from the bronze palette that are the most similar. So let's swatch those. So we're going to start with Magma here as the possible dupe for Russet. And oh, there we go. I'm going to say this is pretty, pretty similar. Then we're going to go in with probably Sundown to see this one. Yeah, I think that's the right. I think Sundown is the right pairing there. For our next shade, I'm going to try Beach. Pretty close. I will say the one in the mini is a little bit darker. Now let's test that shimmer. There's two I want to try. So we're going to start with True Copper as our comparison on this side. Oh, <laughs> those are pretty much identical. But just for fun, let's also go out with, is it Gloaming? Just to, there we go. Pretty much the same. And our last shade... Honestly, probably Magma again. Probably Magma, but let's also try Suntan. Yeah, I would actually probably go with Suntan. So there is the Natasha Denona mini and midi palette compared to each other. And as you can see, these shades are basically exact dupes. So of course, we still need to try these eyeshadows on and answer the question of, is it worth it? But, I mean, at this point, you tell me. So here we have Mini Nude. So this is Mini Bronze, and this is Mini Nude. And personally, I much prefer Mini Nude. I think it just has more of the kind of shadows that I find flattering and that I enjoy on myself and my complexion. Mini Biba. So here we have Mini Bronze and Mini Biba. And again, I personally prefer Mini Biba because I just find those shadows more flattering on me. Of course, it's going to depend on you and your skin tone, your complexion. I have no complaints about the formula with the Mini Bronze. For me, it's just the colors I'm just not obsessed with. And my poor, broken Mini Glam. And here we have Mini Glam. Again, the colors don't really have anything in common. Much more cool toned. But just wanted you to get a sense of how those looked. Let's take some of these swatches off my arm. Okay, so we've taken a look at the swatches. We know what we're getting into. Let's apply the makeup. I started this look with MAC Paint Pot and Paint really all over my lid. Then I went in with the shade Flesh, which is the matte beige nude from the palette. Although <laughs> I, it looks pretty orangey. It does not look like a matte beige nude in my opinion. Anyways, I placed that all over my lid. It was easy to work with. Of course, I wish that there was something to highlight under my brow with. Yes, you can use the highlighter that you use for the rest of your face, but I, I really want everything for my eyeshadow look to be in the palette. I did find it blended out nicely, and overall, I thought it looked good, but it was quite warm toned. Then in my crease, I used a fluffy blending brush with the shade Gobi, which is described as a matte medium tangerine brown. And I thought that that shade was actually really pretty. Very similar in tone to Flesh, but it did just deepen out and sort of sculpt out my eye look. And a moment ago, I just added some russet into my crease as well to sculpt it out and provide some depth and dimension. 
Now I'm going with bronze foil, which is metallic coppery bronze. And these are my favorite shadows that Natasha makes. Her metallics just, they add so much life to the look. Easy to blend, easy to work with, provides depth and dimension. And here I am just going back in with Gobi under my eyes to bring it all together. There is the completed look. I feel very pretty. I do wish that there's a shimmery sort of satiny nude shade that I could pop under my brow, but overall a really, really pretty look. Okay, so at this point, you can see the look I created today. You can, I'm gonna also pop in side by side the look I created with the midi palette. You've seen the swatches. So let's first get into my thoughts on the Natasha Denona bronze palette. I have to be honest with this palette. It is one of the Natasha Denona palettes that I reach for the least. And for me, there's a couple of reasons. And for a neutral, I should say, it's forget her palettes in general. It's a neutral palette that I hardly reach for. And I, I am a neutral kind of girl. So my problem with this palette is the problem that everybody else has. Every look looks the same. I feel like you've got a limited number of mattes. And for me, I always use a matte to sort of sculpt out and, and almost like contour my eyes, kind of build out the look. So you've got a limited number of mattes. Already for me, leaves me... <sighs> Not in a great starting zone. The next comment I'm gonna say is a problem for me and my complexion and maybe a problem that other people don't have. But I find that this palette is lacking a sort of like um, like a cream, like a matte cream or even like a shimmery cream. Something that I can highlight under my brow with and maybe sort of set the base for my look with. Um, and I just feel like there's a, like of the mattes that she did include in this palette, like, two like there are two duos so four of them where it could have been two and even for the coppers again there's a number that can be sort of condensed down so yeah i don't reach for it there's not enough mattes and the looks all look the same so bearing that in mind looking at the mini first of all let's count one two three four five so five out of 15 shadows in the midi are matte. Four out of five in this one are matte. So we've got more mattes to play with, which is already a good thing. Um, you've got the one shimmer. It's one bronzy shimmer. It, like, it, you know, it's the shimmery, like, you probably look, it looks pretty. It looks pretty. So already I find this palette has more that I can use. Still, I wish it did have sort of like a cream or like a, you know, like a more of a highlighty lighter shade. So that way I can do that on me. Of course, I can dip into another palette or use my highlighter, but to me in an eyeshadow palette, we shouldn't have to do that. Like, I want a quad, a quint, whatever, a palette to have everything I need for a full look. So either way, I don't really feel like it has everything I need for a full look. But I think you can effectively get the same look with this mini that you can with the midi. You're really just missing out on the kind of the black and the sort of purpley gray tone, which are just shades I never dip into and never have dipped into, to be honest, in this palette, because I just, they just don't, they don't, they don't really call to me. So ultimately I would say, is this palette truly, is, is the mini truly a shade extension on the midi? Like, no, it's not particularly a shade extension. I actually see it more as a shade curation. I think she's basically gone through and I almost want to say deleted a bunch of the palette that is redundant. And this palette is 87 Canadian dollars, and this palette is 34 Canadian dollars. Now, yes, you are getting a lot more eyeshadows, you're getting bigger shadows for, you know, a little more than double the price, let's say. You know, a little, a little more than double. So if you're looking at it from that value perspective, like, this is a better value. But if you're looking at it from the perspective that... $87 is a lot of money to spend on an eyeshadow palette um, and that maybe $34 is more attainable. It's a little more in the like a little perk kind of treat yourself. Um, you get the same look and it's smaller and cute and much cheaper. And for me, I'm very happy to spend $34 Canadian dollars on a little little eyeshadow palette that feels like a little like fun little splurge whereas to me $87 that feels like an investment even for me having a YouTube channel to be quite honest when Natasha Nona releases a new forget the $170 palettes like the new midis 
if it's not a color story I'm interested in, I'm not going to buy it for my channel. So if you don't have a beauty YouTube channel, which I'm just going to guess a lot of people watching this don't, which is fair. I appreciate that. Um, I just have a hard time recommending this one. If you already have the midi, you don't need the mini, flat out. If you already have the midi, you don't need the mini. If you don't have the midi, I think this is a nice addition to your collection if you like a bronzed look. I'm not really into the bronze looks personally, um, so this was definitely a purchase for review. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. The quality's good, the formula's good, it was easy to work with. I think the look is nice. I just find that bronzed looks are a bit too warm toned on me and a little, they can get a little too intense and I prefer a little bit more neutral. So anyways, that is my thoughts on these palettes, that is my recommendations. We've swatched them, we've compared them. I've also provided some swatches of other midi palettes that I think are similar. We've put the makeup on. Of course, it is up to you, your makeup habits, your budget, your complexion, to see if it's worth it. But personally, I think I would just get the mini and skip the midi. That's just me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful, and I will see you soon. Bye. Mwah.